I was in a bad motorcycle accident, uh, and uh, I ended up in a wheelchair. My husband died, and uh, I was left homeless. Really, all we do is just provide a room and shelter for them, and we keep an eye on them, make sure they do you know, okay while well, they're here. More than a few cases of uh, young girls that have been uh, uh, pro victims of uh, domestic family, that the boyfriends beat them up, or the father, actually one of them, the father was beating them up, and they brought them here. They stayed here for a couple of weeks, and St. Joseph takes care of them, and after they find them housing or shelter, and they take him there. When I was on Skid Row, the amount of families that I met and the amount of young women, you know, it was just ridiculous. But the mental problems, if they're on the streets, nobody helps them out, so they bring them here. I believe it's cheaper for them to house them here than the hospital. A lot of women that's there are not on drugs, are not alcoholics. Uh, they just can't afford the living now. You know, it's a lot of single women. And if they got four or five kids, to try to take care of four or five kids and themselves and rent and food, it's just almost impossible. Thank you uh, so much to St. Joseph Center. As I mentioned, they're a nonprofit organization. They're wonderful. They have caseworkers and they provide uh, room for all these people. And then also we have the people concerned. Uh, again, they have uh, caseworkers, they have psychologists, they have nurses that they come here. Wheels on meals, they provide food for them, bless them, thank you God. And otherwise they go hungry and uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful volunteer that they bring every day on time. Perfect, beautiful, good lunches and very tasty. They always brag about it, they say it's so good and thank you for everyone. I was a hard worker all my life and being out of the military and working 35 consecutive years as a nurse. I had a nice home. I raised my two daughters myself. And when I became injured, I wasn't able to make my house payments anymore. And I never thought I'd be in a predicament of being homeless. Uh, it can happen to anybody. It's, uh, it's one of those things in life that you never think it's going to happen to you, but it does, and it can. And you need to have a heart for people who are homeless, because it could be you one day, and you, and you need to help. Unbelievable to be a productive member of society and all of a sudden not able to be a productive member of society, not having a place to live. The VA put me through treatment program for 11 months, which made a big difference in my life. And the VASH Section 8 gave me a place to live and Meals Wheels, uh, because I was very low income, Meals on Wheels West was able to supply food for me every day, healthy food, where I was able to get healthy and get my A1C down to 6.5 and my weight down, losing 70 some pounds and being a candidate for surgery and having several surgeries through the VA since then. You guys uh, bring, bring lunch and dinner, and you guys always call. Every other day, you know, you guys open the door and say, we came to see you, how you doing? And, and if ain't nobody, we just want to tell you how, you know? And so that makes me good. It's a lot of times I don't see people, but you guys always uh, be uh, right there for us.